Hi, and welcome to the first part in a very long overdue series on pedal reviews, gear reviews, and my pedal board setup. I am going to run through each pedal one by one and then also show how I use them in combination with each other. So to get us started for today, I'm going to start with the pedal I've probably had the longest. It's also the first pedal in my chain, the Boss OC2 Octavert. They don't make this anymore. You can find it, though, on eBay, Reverb.com, etc. Um, there's plenty of great Octavers out there, but this one, for some reason, just has something about it that I like more than all the others. Okay, so getting into it, my dry signal from my Dingwall ABZ 6-string. Okay. For this video, I'm going to completely ignore the double octave down, the two octaves down. I find it to be totally useless for bass, just my personal opinion. And in general, if I'm using the octave down, I have it cranked all the time. Otherwise, I don't get enough volume out of it to match my dry signal. But turning the pedal on here, if I turn the octave down all the way off, uh, I have just my dry signal, and you can hear that there's basically no chain regardless of bypass. So cranking the octave back on here, we get our classic warm 80s analog octave sound. <laughs> heard in that clip a little bit that occasionally if you're not careful the octave on the lower notes will pop up a little bit especially with a pick but for instance if I hold this low A here that one sat pretty good but if I plug it a little bit harder or a little bit I have any of my strings ringing a little bit it immediately kicks up an octave so with any analog octave you have to be a little bit aware of your technique to make sure that the tracking is solid however that being said the OC2, in my experience, tracks faster than almost any other octave pedal out there, regardless what I throw at it. It seems to kind of hang right along there with me. Okay, uh, jumping into what I really love about this pedal, though, is not the classic octave sound. It's actually if I totally get rid of the dry signal and I use just the sub sound, you get this unbelievably warm sine wave sounding synthy octave vibe. It almost sounds nothing like my bass, which is my goal. I actually treat this kind of as its own instrument. So when I want a synth texture, I almost never use my dry bass. I always use this as my starting point, this pure octave down. Now, I always got annoyed though that I love the sound of both the classic octaver with the dry signal on there and then the pure sub synth that I had before. And so I had the people at JHS Pedals mod this for me with this extra stomp switch that basically bypasses my dry volume knob. It's awesome. I love it. So I can go from my 80s kind of octaver sound, one click, and I'm to my pure sub. So, bravo JHS. Good work. Okay, so the rest of the video is going to be showing how I use the pure octave down synth sound with all of my other gear to create some different kinds of synth textures. So the first step in getting that synth vibe is you have to add some kind of grit, and I personally find that a really heavy amount of grit, like a fuzz, and even more so a gated fuzz where it cuts off really strong, is what really gives you the best synth sound. So um, I kind of just set up a quick gated fuzz because my main gated fuzz is not on my board right now. Um, this is a Source Audio uh, OFD distortion pedal. I'll get to that in a later video. But here is the gated fuzz with my dry bass. It's fine. Um, I find it to be a little bit kind of edgy, though. When you turn on the OC2, it tends to round out the gated fuzz sound. It becomes more like a square wave or a pulse wave uh, synth. So with this is my backbone, the OC2 into a gated fuzz. 
I'll start stacking it with other gear. Uh, the next step is some kind of modulation or filter. So let's start with some filters. This is the uh, Source Audio Manta pedal. I'll get to this in a later review. But I have a down envelope here. And this is kind of going to give you that uh, pushing down sweep of an envelope sense sound. <laughs> That nice kind of laser gun sound. Uh, with an up envelope, it's a little more of like an old school Moog envelope sound. And just to demonstrate how important the fuzz is in getting that vibe, if I turn off the gated fuzz, it sounds like this. Still a cool sound, just different. The fuzz really accents the filter. And something like an overdrive instead of a fuzz will accent the filter a little bit less than the fuzz, but more than just the OC2. Okay, so getting off the filters for a second, if I go on to modulations and go up to my Strymon Mobius here, um, I love adding chorus to the OC2. It kind of turns it into that classic detune sound from a synthesizer where you're taking two oscillators, detuning them a little bit. Um, so without the chorus, the OC2 by itself again. With the chorus. Now it's a subtle effect, but it sounds awesome through a big PA. Um, and as usual with any bass review video, make sure you have headphones on, otherwise this stuff is gonna be totally lost. Um, turning the fuzz back on though, without the chorus. With the chorus. Okay. Another mod that I like using with this same setup is a phaser. This is a nice fat phaser, so without the phaser. different color. So you get the idea. Modulations kind of add just a whole new layer to this basic sound. And yet again, this is the pure octave down from the OC2 into a gated fuzz into my modulations or filters. Well, I think we've about pushed the limits for what I can show with the OC2. I'll use it a bunch more though in my other pedal review videos because I use it all the time. So hopefully you got something out of that. If you liked what you heard, please subscribe below and check out my channel for the upcoming videos for hopefully every pedal you see on this board and many more in the future. Thanks.